are on mat number, number two, Frost. Down in the bottom right, the purple Zerg going for an all-in last time. We'll see what he has planned this time. It is Pet. And his opponent, it is T.Y. in the green, down to the bottom left. Holding that all in last time, just in time. Makes eBay's, cancels them for a little money to have just enough units to hold, get that second siege tank out. And at that point, all he had to do was counterattack to win the game, once confirming that uh, there was no follow-up push, as you said. And here we are now at close spawns, actually. I won't say who that favors yet, because we don't really know what playstyle Pet is going to play here on this four-player map. Because um, even though normally it's favoring the Terran because he can reinforce, uh, if TY mechs, it might be worse for him because Pet's an aggressive sort of player and he's, he's going to be able to attack yeah. faster. So it really just depends on what we see here. You were talking about how this is probably going to be the map that TY goes for by on, and I, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, this is just historically not been a good map for mech, especially when we were seeing it like a ton back in the day. Uh, just because the third base is far away, it's wide open, especially on this map, if you want to take the one that's closer to your main, it's closer to the Zerg, so it's it's kind of rough to hold even a third base. If you can get the third base, though, the fourth base is not all that hard, and then you have that, you know, ball of bases there that you can decently defend with a couple of sensor towers. So yeah, it's I, just getting there that's hard. I think I, th I think you said you like really said it just about perfectly. I mean, this is a map where it can be done. And I think it's it's a good map for Mac once you hold that third base because then you can get a fourth base almost for free. And once you have that, then this is an incredible map for Mac just because of the way that the the map operates, like the choke points. There's not a ton of open space on the map in general, with the exception of like right outside the watchtowers. So there's a lot of choke points where you can get a lot of value um, versus a Zerg army. It's getting the third base that's the toughest part. Once you hold that, though, you can take the fourth, and then you you know you build this this maxed out army and. Uh, Especially against a player like Pet, I, I just feel like that's going to be very difficult. And again, this is his map choice. Second gas coming up here very early for Ty. The Overlord in position to scout if he goes for a fast third CC. Yeah, he saw the, the starport coming up on normal time, so he knows no third CC just yet. Ooh, two base lair here, and he made it as natural. And Ty almost scouted it. That Whoa. would have been insane, but. He does not see it, so we might just see two base mutas here, or perhaps even a Nidus network. He's making a lot of links, so it starts to feel like the second option here in the Nidus tech. Uh, it seems about right. We'll see what uh, TY is going for here. He's made a decent number of Marines. Now he's going to uh, swap here with the Starport, make double medevac eventually. This looks like his build on King Sajum Station in a set against True. This is what uh, I really want to point out about Pet's play, and basically you know, all three games he's played so far, is he's just so careful about uh, checking to see what uh, what his opponents can, can and cannot see before he does these attacks. Like, making sure that the Terran doesn't know that he doesn't have a third is so critical, and he's been able to do it, you know, both in this game and in the previous game, to make sure that the Terran is not as prepared for the all up attacks. Now, we know the production tab showing it is going to be two base spire, so these links are just to get a little bit of pressure done beforehand. And any Marines or SCVs he can kill here makes the follow up a lot more strong, a lot more powerful. Uh, the scan on the natural. Somehow, some way, he knew that the lair was at the natural. And I, I suppose maybe he wanted to see if there were any units there as he goes for the drop, but he sees the lair. He doesn't really. I mean, it would be nice if he saw the spire. Lings missed this, by the way, coming over. Oh, nice wall up here just in time. It's only one Marine, though. He's going to need a second. SB is coming over to try to repair, but those can't be repaired. Uh, the Lings run away. This drop comes in. He didn't see the drop coming, but he needs to get units over here and respond. This could actually just end the game. He does not have anything back at home. The Lings are so late to return because he didn't see the drop. The Widow Mine is going to get in a great position here. Oh, my God. The drones better stay away. Oh, he's going to chase them. <laughs> This should just be game. He's not going to beat us out yeah. in time. And that is going to be lights out, unfortunately. Good scan there by TY. Yeah, the second he scanned, he's like, oh, I got to go. Oh, Trains man. is around. Oh. Oh. 12 kills, I believe. Uh, you know, with that one shot, 25 drones down in total. And this will be lights out. Hero couldn't do it. But T.Y. certainly could. Yeah, T.Y. making it look super easy. Pet trying to throw him for a loop. Very tricky plays in both games, but T.Y. easily able to shut it down. GG, T.Y. will get out of the group in first place. There you have it. Uh, 
I mean, it was very straight up there. I, I always have to say is he held off one all in, scouted uh, tech build, and punished it. Um, that last series is much less interesting, I feel, than the first uh, that he played yeah. because it, it was just less technical. It was very much simplistic uh, on, a, on a base level. And that's the kind of series we're kind of expected to see from Pet all throughout the day. Yeah. But he really played a great macro game versus Hero. And against TY, I guess he just really felt weak. Maybe he was only practicing for ZBP and he was like, I got to all Perhaps. in the Terran. Yeah. Yeah. Well, TY's going to go out first. We're going to see what group he is going to go into. Say congratulations. see which group he is going to go into. It is C. So he is going into C1 slot. I think someone got kind of the second place player picked C yesterday. If I'm not mistaken, that's Zest. I'm not 100% sure about that. I think you're right. We will of course confirm that later. But guys, we're going to take a quick commercial break before we come back with our winner's interview here with our first place player, T.Y. Thank <laughs> you. 